Good evening, everyone. My name is Kritagen Yupin, and I'm honored to stand here tonight as America Needs You, First Gen U, alumnus and ambassador. Wait, what? FZU, First Generation University? Yes. Wait, in case if you're wondering, FZU is an amazing digital intensive curriculum for all of us first generation college students who want to join ANY as fellows, but don't get to live in cool cities like New York or Hoboken. <laughs> Standing here in Plaza Hotel, sharing my story with you is something I've never imagined, and I'm truly grateful for this opportunity. Throughout my life, I have been defined by labels. Immigrant, ESL student, first gen college student, abnormal, but I refuse to let these labels define my story. I was born in Nepal, where my mom battled gallbladder cancer, leading to my own physical challenges. Though I appeared normal, my community viewed me differently. Despite this, my family's love gave me the strength to keep going. When my family moved to the United States in 2018, my parents began working in a warehouse. Night after night, I saw them come home, exhausted in pain, soaking their legs soaking their legs in hot water after long shifts. The image of them sitting silently, soaking their aching legs is still imprinted on my mind. Seeing them like this broke me emotionally, but it made me even more focused to not to let their sacrifice go to waste. High school in the US was tough, and I struggled to find my place. Not only I was placed in ESL classes, but because of my skin color, the school assumed I spoke Spanish and assigned me a Spanish-speaking translator who I could not understand. <laughs> and at one point, they, they almost placed me in special education classes. My math teacher was the one who actually took the time to understand me, becoming my mentor and vouching for me when I needed it the most. Thanks to her support, I began to pick up English and slowly adjust to my new school life. Six years ago, I could not speak a single word of English. And now, I'm speaking in a room full of 500 people. As a junior at the University of Texas at Dallas, studying information technology systems and maintaining a 4.0 GPA, <laughs> while working part-time to support my parents. Before joining ANY, I didn't even know how to put together a proper resume. Mine was five pages long, <laughs> filled with Iron Man drawings from my high school. ANY taught me how to condense it to one page, uh, focusing on what truly mattered. I learned the STAR method to answer interview questions and how to present myself confidently in difficult interview situations. But more than anything, ANY gave me a community a group of people who actually believed in me. The support I found at ANY was a lifeline, helping me realize success was possible even when the road ahead seemed unclear. This program didn't just teach me skills. It gave me confidence, hope, and the guidance I desperately needed. With ANY's support, I secured an internship this summer as a technology consulting analyst at one of the biggest consulting firms at Accenture. The projects I worked on there pushed me to grow professionally, showing me that I'm capable of much more than once I thought. Standing here today, I think of everything my family and I have gone through. The journey from being labeled abnormal, to overcoming language barriers, to learning how to thrive in a new environment. Graduating from college means everything to me and my family. It is much more than just a college degree. It is a symbol of, it is a symbol of dreams my parents had, when they sacrificed everything to bring me here today. I'm truly grateful for these opportunities I've had and for the people who believed in me when I needed it the most. Thank you.